Hey folks, and welcome to this Twilio tutorial video. Now this is the first of a series of videos that will take you through building your first Twilio powered voice applications. And by the end of this video, you'll have purchased a Twilio phone number and configured it to respond when it receives a phone call. Twilio makes it easy to interact with traditional telecommunications infrastructure. This is how we're able to write code that can trigger a phone call. Now, while Twilio abstracts away all of the complicated jargon of telecoms, it's good to have a basic understanding of how it all works. Across the world, in so many different countries, there are various communication networks. Now, Twilio Super Network sits under the hood of the Twilio car and acts like the engine. It collects and consolidates all of these networks by layering software into them. And as a result, we don't need to worry about fancy network diagrams and servers, but we can just focus on the code that counts. And the flagship feature of the Twilio Super Network is our catalog of phone numbers around the world that are ready for you to use. Let's head on over to the Twilio console. Here, we can buy a phone number with just a few clicks. Head over to the phone numbers page on the console and click on manage. Here, we can buy a new number. Now there is a handy search bar for us to pick the right phone number for what we need. We want a phone number that can use Twilio voice. We don't need to worry about SMS for now. Different countries around the world have different regulations for the phone numbers in each of those countries. Now these may require providing an address or adequate identity documentation. To find out what is needed for your country, you can head over to your phone number regulations page. You can search by country and find out what the rules are to buy a phone number where you are. I know that to buy a UK landline number, I need to use a validated address. So I'm going to buy this phone number right now. Just like that, we own a phone number and can begin to determine how we want it to behave. In order to control phone calls on Twilio, we need to use Twilio Markup Language or TWIML for short. Twimmel is an XML based language which instructs Twilio on how to handle various events such as incoming and outgoing calls. You may have seen code similarly structured with angle brackets when writing HTML for websites. Now when we build a Twilio application, we use Twimmel to communicate our desired actions to Twilio. Let's write some Twimmel now. Twimmel documents are made up of special tags that we call nouns and verbs. Verbs usually represent an action that will be taken on the call. And a noun is usually something that an action is directed towards. For example, we might use the verb dial directed towards the noun number. This will dial the number that we give it. Fun fact, the first word that was ever spoken on a phone call was the word ahoy. Now, since I like to build a Hello World program whenever I start a new language, why don't we just write some twimble that says ahoy world? Let's start by writing response tag. All Twimmel must start and end with a response opening and closing tag. And within this, we're going to write say. Once again, we need to close this. And within our say tag, we're going to write the actual text that we want the phone to say. Ahoy world. Now this Twimmel document needs somewhere to live that Twilio can access whenever our phone number receives a phone call. Today, we're going to use something called a Twimmel bin. This is a serverless solution that Twilio offers to host Twimmel for us. Let's head back to the Twilio console. Over in the Twimmel bins page, we can create a new Twimmel bin. Let's give it a name. And we can copy the code that we wrote earlier into it. There is a handy little code validation tool here, so we can check to see that there are no errors in the way we've structured our Twimmel. When it all looks good, we can hit create. Now let's head back to the phone number that we bought earlier. We are okay with our number accepting incoming voice calls. So let's configure our number so that when a call comes in, Twilio will look up the Twimmel bin that we just created. Now, once we've done this, we can hit save. Don't forget to hit save, it's super important. Now pause this video and give your phone number a call. You should hear it respond saying ahoy world and then the call will end. Go on, pause it right now, I'll wait.
In just a few minutes, we've been able to buy a phone number and start writing code to configure how we want it to behave. Now let me show you some more things that we can do with Twimmel. Back in our Twimmel bin, we can chain multiple instructions after the other. We could play some music. We could use the play verb to give Twilio the URL of an audio file to be played. Maybe you want to use this for more interesting hold music. We could also dial another phone number. I actually use a Twimmel bin myself that forwards calls to my mobile phone. That way I don't have to give my real number in the internet when I build stuff like this. We could even dial multiple numbers by using the number noun. Twilio will dial each of these numbers until the first person picks up. There is so much that you can do with Twimmel and many more options that you can add to make it more complex. We can choose between a variety of voices, change the language it's spoken in, or even add an accent. My personal favorite is the Australian accent. Now you know how to buy a phone number and write Twimmel to configure it to behave how you want. Join us in our next video as we learn how to initiate outbound phone calls and interact with the Twilio API from our own code. And like I say at the end of each video, I can't wait to see what you build.